how to design a visitor counter uh, system by using uh, kill and produce combination so just take your uh, kill microvision IDE and from this just go project tab and create new project and select your program on a specific location uh, which is from C drive or E drive now uh, our application is visitor counter and this is the device selection window here uh, you people have to choose a specific microcontroller from specific manufacturer select the manufacturer and click on plus mark you will get the list of devices and choose a specific device from this list and this description which is going to uh, know the, the complete features of your device and click on ok <coughs> and this is your startup code warning uh, you people can so select yes or no there is no problem here and click on no now you people created your project with a specific target device which is your Atmel 8089C51 microcontroller and go file tab and select the option new uh, this is the text editor here uh, you people can write your program before writing just try to save this file for that go file tab and choose save option and here give your file name with .c extension because this is a program you people have to save this program with .c extension click on save now you can start writing your program so this is your header file name of all 51 families and declare your sensors or switches with a user defined name one uh, which is connected with p 1.0 and the other sensor which is connected with other io pin And these are the two sensors I am taking one for entry identification and other sensor for exit and now if you want to get the text on screen uh, you people need one LCD screen uh, just take LCD declarations here so LCD which is going to work with the specific control lines I just I am taking the other remaining pins for LCD control lines and which is connected with P1.2 next SW S bit RW this is one more control line for read or write operations And next take one more uh, enable line uh, which is connected with P1.4 these are all the three control lines which are connected with other IO lines and the complete data lines which are connected with port 2 and just I am taking user defined functions which is LCD command this function just I am using for passing the argument from my main program 
and one function I am taking for command and other function I am taking for data with character arguments and there is one more function required for delay purpose and in this function just I am going to take the counts of entry sensor and exit sensor so I have to use LCD conversion so the device which is going to provide information in hexadecimal form uh, just you have to convert this numbers to decimal form this is my conversion function and from here your main program starts now so just I am taking user defined variables x comma y so one sensor for entry count and other uh, variable for exit count <coughs> and if you are looking to give the text screen directly so declare one function for direct text which a pointer argument and can the pointer variable as this two arguments I am taking one for string and other for size and if you want to get initialization of this LCD screen uh, you people have to follow some commands which are 0x38 so this is the command for selecting the complete crystals from the device your delay and again you need one more command which is for 0x01 which will clear the screen and delay function and next it will need one more command to shift the cursor position to right you people need to follow this command for display on cursor blinking so these are the basic commands you people need to initialize the complete screen after initialization whatever the information if you want just you can give through this string function so based on your size of quantity so the total character quantity is 7 and in the second line uh, just I am expecting to move this LCD screen second line you have to pass the command this is 0xc0 this is the command value for move the cursor to second line so make sure if you want good visibility from your screen
this count your characters so 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and give the size of your string followed by argument and after that uh, just go through your conditions what you need and go just i am entering into the infinite loop So this while loop which is maintaining the conditions of sensors if particular sensor which is logic 0 so just and make sure I am going to change my screen text as and to clear this previous text screen you people have to follow this command 0x01 and give your text as entry with a colon like just again count your size the 6 Increment your x variable value by one. And send this value for conversion. next if suppose if exit sensor which is going to sense then uh, you people have to add this so you have to pass your cursor position to second name second value So just I'm going to change my screen as so just exit if you are looking for a specific line then you can take out a specific command here so characters of five and in which line you want you want to display this thing just pass your suitable command this is the command value for force the cursor to second line and in the second line uh, you people will get this exit conversion and this command just keep it on before loop and now you people can follow this zero x eight zero after that give you a delay and the entry value which will take six po six positions for you and lcd command 
just we have to make it zero x eight seven followed by delay. The same thing if you are looking to display your count value on a specific location zero x c7 c6 delay f once this sensor count and once this sensor 2 which is sense and I am going to increment my count value as 1 and pass this value for conversion Now this is the activity of your two sensors in the while loop. They will check continuously. Now coming to the functions description. Uh, what is the individual descriptions of individual functions? One is a command which follows argument. and take out this take this argument there is no need to de declare a temporary variable and assign your argument to port 2 While passing command, just make sure your control lines logics while passing command or its logic should be zero and RW logic is zero and enable pin high to low ones. And check out your uh, the description of data function while passing data you should remember while passing data so you have to follow so again you people have to pass your data also with the help of p2 data lines connected with the data lines but while passing data the RS logic should be 1 and RW logic is 0 and enable pin high to low ones this is the description of your data function next there is a one more function which is display just verify what you use in the declaration part disp make sure your name as same but this function it should be with the string pointer variable followed by size of your string further as 
take a temporary variable and take the help of for loop which is going to check the size of your string which is less than r which is going to uh, repeat the process and what this for loop which is for the function of data and this lcd data function which is going to read the elements of s one by one this is the function for lcd this next what about conversion function so this conversion function which is followed by an argument this number you have to convert into this decimal form your user can understand the things in decimal form so just i am taking two temporary variables and by dividing the given number with 10 i will get quotient and uh, i should get the remainder for this and now p equals to and i am making ascii conversion with this by adding 30 this is the ascii conversion required for displaying your number else the data of p and else the data of n this is my conversion function and what about delay function delay is the function without arguments unsigned integer okay comma l just i am taking with the help of self for loops just i am generating delay value this is a complete program for getting this sensor signals from the to get lcd screen this is your complete visited counter program and if you want to compile this program add with source group build the program so once after getting 
zero errors and zero warnings create the hex file for this just select target one and choose the option option for target target one and give the oscillator frequency as 11.0592 and highlight use on chip ROM and select the file and highlight this create hex file and click on ok and build once again now you will get hex file from your device as a visitor counter minimize this and open your simulation tool to see the output in the form of hardware just select the components I need some buttons to give the input signals as a sensors and I need one microcontroller and LCD screen now so take all the individual components in the design and connect your entry pulse and exit pulse and take the screen these are the three individual things and connect your pulse signals with this IO lines as per your program development the three control lines RS, RW which are all connected with this three control lines and coming to this data lines which are all connected with your P2 so make sure your all connections with the all related data lines and follow the order from LSB to MSB and make sure your switches connections with ground other terminals after giving all your hardware connections just take the hex file browse click on the device you will get hex file path here by click on folder symbol so you people have to open your specific folder by the device visitor counter and give the oscillator frequency as same as you created hex file click on ok and play two. so once you give the pulse from here We are giving pulses here, which is going to see this way. Uh, you people can test your hardware. This is your entry sensor, and this is the exit sensor. If you want to name it for these two things, you can go with edit text box, take your text box here. this is entry and make sure your size should be more like if you want to increase the size of this just you can go through this which is entry and if you want to write exit test here you can write your exit 
and you can mention size here the same size then if you want to see the output of this you can see your entry count like this thanks for watching